up in that. Yeah. We all know Willie McGuire not finna let that shit slide. Oh. This man Peter just started punching, bro. Give him the yeah. three piece combo, punching him all the way into the wall. But you already know Harry had to stab, bro. Just to show him shit was not sweet at all. Yeah. He is not his dad. That nigga Peter ate that shit up. Eat it. Ah! So this man's <laughs> What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dup. It's your boy Ross. We in the clutch, baby. Hey! Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, of the video that you feel me. All right, we're going to check out when Harry forgot who Bully Maguire was. This is when um, Harry didn't realize my boy uh, Peter Parker, he wasn't the same no more. Peter Parker. He had changed, mm -hmm. and uh, he was on a different time. Some would say he was on that black Air Force energy. He wasn't taking no shit from nobody. And Harry thought the shit was sweet. He did. And he had to let him know, hey, that's why I killed your pops, bitch ass nigga. Damn. <laughs> Straight like that, too. Straight. Straight like that, too. Straight like that, bro. <laughs> hey, this was this was a cool, cool little scene, man. Let's get right into this one. Go back down memory lane. Oh, for sure. You know what time it is. Oh, yeah. Now, look, I've oh, been meaning man. to do this video for a minute. I can't even lie. And if you really want this video to make sense, you probably got to go watch the other two before it. But it doesn't matter because you're already here. So sit your ass down and sit back. Let's get right into it. I want to get the Gucci bullets and Chanel and Prada. My shit got zeros and your shit got zeros. But we're not the same because my shit got commas. So the scene started out with this man Peter Parker cruising around the street like he don't got ops. Like this man Peter Parker is literally beefing with somebody that knows his whole identity. You got to stay yeah. ready. Them hands got to stay ready for any man, given moment. It's cruising. It's already too late because this man Harry didn't pulled up on bro. Picked him up just like them hawks be doing to them chihuahuas. Oh. You can't even the eagle because you already know them chihuahuas. Always be having lockdown badges chasing your ass down from a to b so this man harry got peter parker in the air now and for two niggas that can't fly guess what they decide to do the punch in the air knowing they got no type of fall damage like it'd be the heroes that can't fly want to do all the extra shit in the air Harry end up grabbing this man by his mouth and cutting him in his stomach and i know you can tell by his face that that shit indeed hurt it this man <laughs> harry end up selling the bag and letting spider-man loose and now this man spider-man is just shooting webs at, bro, but he is missing every single shot even though he locked in look at his face after seeing spider-man miss every shot this man harry he had the bright idea just to cut his whip so he can fall down. And while he was falling, Harry pulled up and punched him right in the stomach, sending him flying into the bricks. And these are the penalties of living in the same city as a superhero. I know when that nigga wake up in the morning and go to the bathroom, he gonna see that big ass hole in this wall. While this man <laughs> the wall, this right. man Harry pulled up the same way your man's pull up when you tell him it's gonna be hoes at the front shop. Knowing damn why two men finna have a 0 0.2 success rate because he wanna flex the whole time. So after showing out the drip, this man Harry went in for a punch, but Spider-Man weaved it. Then Harry just decided to rip out that hose out of the building, sending Spider-Man Spider-Man flying. And while this man Spider-Man was flying, Harry pulled up, grabbed him by his leg, and started dribbling his head off of every window. <laughs> you can't tell me all them niggas that just got their window broken got hero insurance. And Harry told Spider-Man making this man drop his ring that he was yep. gonna propose to MJ too. And not only is this man Harry trying to get back for his father, he also trying to get back with MJ. Because Harry came through and tackled Peter Parker while he was trying to recover his ring. Somehow, somewhere, this man Harry ended up selling again and getting thrown off his own hoverboard. Yep. Like, how you get your chain jack? I don't think Harry knew what he was getting into when he decided to fight Spider-Man because he's getting pressed up right now. So then Spider-Man made himself a slingshot, leaving the hoverboard behind just to go get that ring. But we all know Harry not finna let that shit slide, though. Because while following the midair, Harry get his hoverboard back and rush straight towards Spider-Man. And right before Peter grabbed it, he got smacked yep. right in his shit, sending him flying to the ground. But Peter simply did not care because he got that ring. So then Peter tried to get away by going inside this alley. But Harry ended up catching him in the alley and started swinging his sword, hoping he hitting something. Harry even got the perfect opportunity to slice burn his stomach, but he still sold that too. It's official. He's a 55 overall with no badges. Sit your ass in the corner. So I began to miss and Harry had pulled out something that had direct tracking, so he couldn't miss. But the direct possibility tracking. of missing was still in Harry's mind. So he decided to throw four more at Peter. To reassure him, bro, that one of them might hit. So while getting hawked down, this man Peter had the most brightest idea. He decided to do a U-turn so the things can hit Harry. I can't even lie. That shit low-key didn't work at all. Because Harry absolutely weaved every single last one of them things. Not even getting touched by one of them. And then this man Harry hit the smoothest U-turn. And now he back chasing Spider-Man, so is his gadgets. Like, this man Spider-Man is the only nigga I know that made a plan just to end up back in the same predicament he was in in the first place. <laughs> up throwing the gadgets into each other, making them explode up. But Harry came up that flame like he was reborn or something. But after Dog. Harry got out them flames, he had looked up and got closed on by Spider-Man <laughs> Web, hitting his head on that beep, pole beep, and falling beep, at least beep, 20 beep. feet down to the ground, taking no fall damage. Bro was only knocked out because he hit his head on the pole, not because of that fall. Fall damage simply do not exist up in these movies. 
Now we skip to the scene when this man Peter went down to check on Harry. And seeing that Harry was not waking up after Peter tried to kill him, he decided to pick bro up and take him to the hospital. <laughs> and this took us to our him. next scene. So while Peter was at the hospital thinking on how he cooked his own man, the doctor had walked up to bro and told him, oh yeah, he is cooked. I don't know what happened to Harry, but he can't seem to remember anything. I told him ass over tits and he picked tits. <laughs> after Peter heard that Harry had lost all memory, he decided to do what got him in trouble the first time. Lied to bro, act like nothing happened. My father. He died, right? Yeah, that nigga did more than die. He got cooked. And then after that happened, MJ he pulled up more. acting like she was busy or something. I got here as fast as I could. Now let me guess, what was you doing? Acting or something? No, you're trash. Then you get fired? I know. <laughs> he said say you pulled you up doing? like you was busy or something. What you doing? <laughs> acting or something? No. You trash. trash. Dog. <laughs> God Someone damn. said, I hate it, MJ. Oh, Jim said, I hate it. Hey, MJ was kind of. She got on my damn nerves, yeah, bro. Yeah, she was like, kind of annoying. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. She was definitely kind of annoying, bro, at that time. Oh, that face. How you doing? Ain't no way that CTE got bro thinking they still together. But later <laughs> that night, somebody let bro get on that Henny. And he yep. started getting flashbacks on how Spider-Man cooked his dad. And not knowing how to get his revenge on Spider-Man, his dad pulled up and told him, do what I did to his grandma. Kill the bitch. Go get MJ and kill her ass. I never liked her anyway. Do that for me, son. And we all know bro did not want to kill MJ, but he already disappointed his father too much. So while MJ was coming home from a long day, listening to Peter pour his heart out, this man Harry pulled up and just started choking her ass, making sure she did not pick up that call trying to get back with bro, slamming her to the wall and telling her, I got something for you to do for me. Get that nigga Peter and break up with him. Or else. So later that day, MJ did exactly what Harry told her to do. So then Peter happy yeah. ass walked up to MJ <laughs> with flowers in his hand. And he that nigga no, that I'm so happy to be alive. I'm so happy. Look at me. Yeah, I love you, MJ. What's Chicka up, cha. You, they definitely you ended with me? that. <laughs> bro, this nigga ain't know what was going on, bro. <laughs> but what he didn't realize, once that nigga found that, uh, that black Spider-Man suit. That was it, bro. Uh, uh, he didn't realize when a nigga didn't lost his girl, he feel like he lost the world. You got nothing else to lose? He ain't got nothing else to lose. It's like the toxicness just breathes. <laughs> it nigga, embraces you. It embraces you. <laughs> He got that ring in his pocket preparing to propose to her. But then MJ just broke down and started crying, telling bro how she didn't even want to fuck with him no more. And that's a damn shame, because only if she would act like this up in them plays, she could have kept her job. And then he just started crying and said, I was going to propose to you and everything. Just give me one more chance to make this right. And MJ yeah. told bro she not trying to marry a nigga with a one-bedroom house. That door doesn't even work. And Peter already knew that he was Dog. cooked. Ain't no saving this. So he just let her walk away. Already know Harry in the back hating, watching all this shit unfold. Just waiting for the right moment to disappear in the dark. Talking about something, the job is done. And then Harry watched MJ walk by and told her, bravo, good acting. But as you can see by her face, she did not give a fuck. Ah, maybe that bitch would act like this. She could have kept her job. Sorry, asshole. I did not hate over here for MJ. Spider-Man could have just stayed with Gwen. She found her. Yeah, bro. That's what me. I was saying, man. Man. I, was, I always said, I was like, man. Um, oh, mm -hmm. man. On oh, the cool. I was saying that in the movies, I'm like, bro, man, fuck, hey, man, fuck him, Jay, man, get with, get with, get with Gwen, man, come on. <sighs> he said I wasn't good enough, and she made fun of my apartment, told me I was broke. He should have known by bro face that he did not give a fuck at all. And then she said it was another guy. She knows she chopped. I'm the only nigga that wanted her. Well, while you was too busy being Spider-Man, you wasn't there for her when she lost her job, but I was, though. And I guess I just got to tell you this right now. I'm the other guy she be Oh, this nigga. That's why I say when he got the pack, when he got the fade. Yeah. That shit was so satisfying when that other side of him, the side that Just he the, has the been raging trying to. Side. The Compress, yeah. Yeah, Suppress. when he finally caught that nigga, he was like, hey, bro, you really a bitch. I don't give a fuck about MJ and I killed your pops. What you gonna do about it? What you Bro, gonna do now, pussy? When that hey, nigga hey, take this orb back, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> dog. <laughs> that was the co that nigga hit that. That nigga, uh, take that shit back, dog. Bitch. I wanna I say like that that was one of my favorite mm -hmm. fuck you moments. Yeah, in the, in the Bro, Spider Man. That, Cause that like, nigga okay. hit that huh <laughs> and launched that hoe back. I was just like, damn. I was like, yeah, fuck that up, nigga, bro. bro. Been fucking with. I hit her last week. I mean, I knew she was a bot, but you, damn you. 
Damn, she fucking anybody at this point. I'll kill you. <laughs> but Peter knew MJ was about before he even dated her, so he just walked out the establishment. So after Peter walked out the cafe, he was feeling played, so he looked back to check Harry. And Harry turned around and started smiling at bro. Man, even when Harry he started winking at him. Bro. And this man, Harry, finally got his disappearing into the dark room. <laughs> he knew the job was done. A few moments later. Oh, yeah, this the moment we all been waiting yeah. for. This is why they call him Bully McGuire, because if you thought he was going to let that shit slide, yeah. no, he was wrong. The scene started out with Harry pulling him up another drink. This the third one of the day. But then, oh, he didn't realize that nigga was on that time. Yeah. He didn't realize. He thought it was just little old Peter. Peter yes. ain't gonna do nothing. Nah, my nigga. He nah. ain't know what happened, bro. He know. He, he, he ain't know about the know. chest hits. <laughs> he he should have known when the nigga pulled up in a black a fucking turtleneck in, in blue blue jeans and I black shoes. It, it was the hairstyle. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I don't know what Peter Parker pulls Yo. up the same way Dr. Umar pull up when he find out you've been playing Yo. in the snow. But this man Harry sensed that he was there, so he pulled around his head. What you here for? Are you mad because I took your bitch, bro? Let her go. She the bop of this. That nigga had I, that dog. I would have been like, wait, oh shit, wait. Not the schools. Hey, bro, what you got back there, man? You got it. You good, bro? Got it on you. Anyways, and because he was upset, this man Peter said she was monster key. Then this man Harry took a drink and said, Bro, I had her back in high school. You must have forgot I had to throw you the law because you was embarrassed to talk to her. You came a lot. He not wrong because that man Peter was missing every shot on MJ. That nigga was Tony Snail. Don't worry, I finished the job. I was fucking all last night, my nigga. Up in that. Yeah. We all know Billy McGuire not finna let that shit slide. Oh. This man Peter just started punching, bro. Give him the oh. three piece combo, punching him all the way into the wall. But you already know Harry had to stab, bro. Just to show him shit was not sweet at all. Yeah. He is not his dad. That nigga Peter ate that shit up. Eat it. Ah! So this man. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. Spider <laughs> Man had pulled out that weak ass knife. But then Harry had whipped out these arm blades trying to kill this man Peter Parker. And then Harry went for a backhand, but Peter weaved that shit, gave bro a kick to the face, and then kicked him right in his chest, sending him flying into his own wall. And giving this man Harry no time to recover this man Peter Parker pushed back up on him. So as Peter pushed back up on Harry, Harry had recovered and just started swinging on Peter. But not even gonna lie, that man Peter was leaving all them shits until that punch came across. But Peter quickly recovered and caught these arm blades. And while Peter was holding on to Harry's right arm, he must have forgot he had that mean left sending bro to the wall so then this man harry went in for the kill but missed and then spider-man had detached his arm from the arm blades and had punched bro in the face he went in for another swing but harry had caught that shit and ended up kicking bro right in his chest sending this man flying across the table this man harry had peter flying across the room like goku had punched him and now they just circling around the table trying to size each other up so i didn't know what harry had punched spider-man and then when he tried to go in for the two-piece spider-man caught that and then kicked bro right through the glass and then this man harry got up feeling played that spider-man really was making him bleed and then spider-man asked him did his thing and then harry said what was all of this when flash was fucking mj back in high school in feeling every day and then harry went in to go try to tackle spider-man but he put him to the wall and tried to punch harry but he weaved both of those Be the third punch, he decided to backhand, bro, right in the face. And then he continued to pick up Harry and throw him right into his face. That's the same move that gave Harry CT at the beginning of the movie. Then Harry got up fast as fuck and tried to tackle this man Peter Parker into the wall. But that shit got reversed and he got slammed into his own lair. And just like every hood nigga that can't fight, this man Harry immediately ran to his weapon and tried to kill Spider-Man. But he every was missing all them shits. We Nation gotta sign this man up. And then Harry missed Spider-Man and hit his hoverboard. And that hoe just started tweaking. Not trying to get cooked like the original Goblin, them boys just started ducking. But that didn't last long because Peter brought Harry to the ground, threw him up, and made him get hit by his Boom. own board. Sending him flying into his own gadgets. This remind me of that one time when Batman got cooked in his own bat cave. I was skipped to the part when Peter had walked down on Harry. And then Harry had told him why did he take his dad from him. His dad was everything to him. And he was telling Peter how his dad had loved him. But we all know that nigga Harry dad did everything but love him. All right. And after Harry CT he had cleared, he had got a flashback. Wait, hey, Dad, where you going? Why you leaving so fast? Fuck out my face, little nigga. Let me leave. <laughs> Unhand me. Like I said before, me. you are trash. Of course, you're going to come back with a bopper ring. I told you go get you a, a bad bitch like Bobby Rose. You're going to come back with her. She's a bop. Do what you got to do and leave her. Now, let me be, nigga. But that, she not like all them other girls, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you think. Your mom said the same thing. Now, look at me. Holeless. I ain't got no hoes because of her. I'm out, nigga. And even Peter had to tell bro that his dad always thought he was trash. And then yep. he tried to get up and fight, bro. But he had smacked him right in his neck. Down, down, boy. That nigga, hey. <laughs> He was on time, man, fam. He always thought you were a pussy. <laughs> sit your ass back down, nigga. Sit your, Relax. Sit your, Relax. Relax, nigga. He sold that, though. He looked at it. Look at that stance. He sold that. <laughs>
On the ground, and after Peter left, he couldn't accept that shit. So he yep. had threw one of his gadgets at him. When Peter weaved that shit and saw him flying right back at his that face, exploding was... his face in the process. Ah. Them niggas was never friends from that day on. They was beefing like into the very end. But I ain't finna talk about that. But look, thank y'all boys for watching this oh, video. Good. I hope y'all enjoyed. I was supposed to be and finish this. Look. Fire, bro. This hey, nah, fire, bro. that was definitely tough, bro. <laughs> that nigga hey, said, bro. Uh, can you go? <laughs> Blew up and then he just walked off. He just like, walked off, bro. I don't give a fuck. Nigga was in the Man. middle of the street, just. <laughs> yeah. He saw MJ working. He was with his new teams. He was over there just. He was putting some extra out. moves on the yeah. old girl. He was bobbing out with Gwen. Like, yeah. yeah, I got me a new one, a better, a better one, baby girl. Go up there and sing for us. Hey, <laughs> yeah, go, go do your job. That shit was cold. Go up there and sing for us. Peter did it one time for the boys who, yeah. who struggled to get to <laughs> land home. Yeah. You me? For the shot to go in. Entertain us, okay? You can't make it big in Hollywood. Entertain us right now. Mm -hmm. That's, that was fire, bro. We Bring embrace we girl. embrace we embrace Venom at first. <laughs> Bring your new girl to your ex-girl job while she performs for y'all. Some fire shit. Man, now you gotta work. Now you gotta work for us. Better sing good. I may tip you. <laughs> That's cold, bro. Ah! That's cold, bro. But hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, man, you already know what to do. Make sure you run up to like, subscribe. Let us know if y'all want us to do some more. Definitely don't mind doing it. Ross is win black uh, venom right now. So let us know again and keep on supporting and spreading love, being love. We catch y'all in the next one. Peace out. Already. Nah. This is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.